and Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make lemon meringue pie. Now this has been crazy, crazy requested, so I'm really thrilled to be able to share with you. So let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. You need some regular white granulated sugar, some cornstarch, four eggs that I have divided into whites and the yolks and I've beaten the yolks, some confectioner sugar, water, unsalted butter, lemon juice, lemon zest, cream of tartar, salt, and you're also going to need some pie crust. And you can either make your own pie crust, which I have a recipe for on my website at www.laurinthekitchen.com, and it's the same pie crust I use for my apple pie and my pumpkin pie. So you're free to use that recipe, or to make life a little easier, you can buy pre-made pie crust at your grocery store, which is what I did. And I always buy pie crust at the grocery store whenever they have a really good deal going, because then I can use it like that if I need to make it a quick dessert. First thing you want to do, preheat your oven 350 degrees, get that out of the way. Second thing you want to do, I have a 9 inch tart pan with a removable bottom and all I'm going to do to this is spray it. Just want to make sure everything comes out, right? We're going to place our pie crust in there and it should fit just perfectly. You don't need to cut anything out, you just want to cut it carefully just like so you don't want to stretch it because once you cook it it's just going to shrink back down so try not to stretch it as much as possible just work it with your fingers all this excess on top you can just clip it off like that remember don't stretch it now we're going to blind bake this crust what that means is we are going to bake this and I'll show you with some pie weights or you can use dried beans which is what I use or rice or anything like that. I'm just pricking the bottom and the sides of it because the reason why we're blind baking it is basically because we're baking it without any color that way it cooks all the way through and we're using pie plate, pie, uh, pie plate, pie weights. In this case I'm using just some dried beans that I specifically use. As you can see I'm just putting the aluminum foil. Try and do it as neatly as possible. Just like that, it's perfect. I have these beans that I use every time I want to blind bake something. And this helps weigh it down so that when it bakes it doesn't puff up because if it puffs up when we go ahead and bake it for like the last eight minutes with the without the pie weights, it's going to be kind of unevenly cooked. So we're going to do it like this in your oven, 350 degrees, for about 10 to 15 minutes. It usually is done at about 15 minutes. You can take it out and then I'll show you what we're going to do with the rest of it. Now I have a medium pan over here and I just put it on medium heat and I'm going to add in my sugar and my cornstarch, a little bit of salt, not a whole lot just about a quarter teaspoon. I'm just going to mix this just to get it combined. And now to this I'm going to add in my water, wonderful, lemon juice and lemon zest. Now this was the juice and the zest of two really nice big lemons. And I'm just going to mix this like so. You want to whisk this the entire time because essentially what we're making is a custard. We're making lemon curd, really. And if you don't whisk, it's going to stick. It's going to form lumps and you don't want that. So you want to bring this up to a bubble and once we do, we're going to add in the butter and we're going to kind of put the whole thing together. Our sugar and lemon mixture is up to a bubble and it's getting really nice and thick at this point. We're going to add in our butter. And carefully, I'm going to turn the heat down to low and I'm just going to whisk this until the butter melts. Now that the butter's melted and the mixture is really nice and thick, I'm going to take about a half a cup of this hot mixture and I'm going to put it into the egg yolks. Now what this called is tempering and what we're basically doing is tempering the egg yolks because if I were to put the egg yolks from cold straight into the hot mixture, we could potentially scramble the eggs. And I don't know about you, but I don't want scrambled eggs into my lemon meringue pie. And then we take the lemon, the lemon mixture, the egg yolk mixture, and we put it into the lemon mixture, just like this. And we're just gonna stir this around and cook it 
for another minute or so until basically we cook the egg yolks and everything is thick and come together. It's been about a minute or so and this looks perfect to me. It's nice and thick, it's exactly what I want. I'm just going to turn this off. I'm going to let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes while I prep my meringue and then we're going to put the whole thing together and we're going to finish it up. Blind baked my crust for about 10 minutes and that should be perfect, which it is. Wonderful. Now basically, oops, I turned off a little bit of peas here, but that's okay. Basically what we did was kind of cook it all the way, well three quarters of the way without any color because if I were to put this just like this into the oven without blind baking it, it would get color in the first like seven minutes but it would still be raw. So now at this point, what we're really looking forward to is getting that little light brown color on that crust that we all know and love. So it's going to go back in for another 8 to 10 minutes until we achieve that and then we're going to fill it with the lemon curd, top it with the meringue and pop it back in. Now to make my meringue, I want to really beat those egg whites so they're really nice and fluffy but you want to make sure they come out best if you're using a metal bowl and it has to be super, super clean. And I actually take a piece of lemon like this and rub the inside because if there's any oil or anything, the lemon kind of takes it all in and it makes sure to really, really clean this bowl well. It's a trick that all cooks know and I'm excited to share it with you. So I'm doing this with a standing mixer just because I don't want to get a workout today because it would take forever to beat these egg whites by hand, but you can certainly do it by hand. And these are the four egg whites that we separated from the egg yolks. I'm just going to turn this on to like medium, medium high, medium for now until you start to see them get frothy and when you start to see those get frothy, we are going to slowly add our confectioner's sugar. Now if you want, you can use regular granulated sugar. I prefer confectioner's sugar just because with granulated sugar you can get that sandy texture in the back of your mouth which I don't like. So we're going to use that but I'm going to wait until these get nice and frothy before I start adding those in a little bit at a time. Now at this stage, I've mixed my cream of tartar and my confectioner's sugar and I'm going to add this one tablespoon at a time. I don't want to add it all at once because it will start to clump. So once you see one disappear, you add another one in until you get really fluffy and just beautifully gleaming stiff peaks. And then the whole thing is going to get assembled. So we have all the elements of our lemon meringue pie done. We have our pie crust, lemon curd, and the egg white meringue topping. So let's just put the whole thing together. First thing you want to do is take your gorgeously shiny lemon curd and that's going to be your first layer. Right in and by the way, lemon curd stays in your fridge for like two, three weeks. I'm not even kidding. And you can freeze it for like up to three months and it's so good to have on hand to spread on like croissants in the morning or brioche or for a quick filling in a pie. So on top of that, go our egg whites. And now we're just going to work the egg whites. I'll show you what I mean by that. With the back of your spatula. These are going to be really high and it's going to be so nice when it's done. It's going to look beautiful. It's going to taste fantastic. And I mean, it's a little time consuming, but it's not difficult. There are three elements to this and you can definitely get them done, you know, ahead of time really. You can buy your crust pre-made, you can make your lemon curd like literally weeks in advance and let the egg whites take no time at all to put together. Now because I want the peaks to catch that golden brown color, using my spatula, I just do that. Because I want those to, I want it to look really homemade and I want it to look really nice and those peaks get lightly golden and chewy and it's like the best part. I'm not kidding. So, so good. Okay, so we have the whole thing done. Back into your preheated oven, 350, for about 15, 10 to 15 minutes until it's literally lightly golden. And then, I know this is the hard part, but you have to wait at least three hours before slicing. It has to be completely cooled, otherwise it's going to completely fall apart. So this is going to go in, going to let it cool, and we're going to slice it together. 
I baked my pie at 350 for, 50, for 15 minutes so it's nice and golden on the top and I let it cool for about three and a half hours. You want to make sure it's completely, completely cold before you go and slice it, otherwise it'll fall apart. So now we're going to do that. And this is really easy. The removable bottom makes it extremely easy to get it out of the tart pan. Look at that. The crust is perfect. We have a nice amount of lemon curd and just about everything else. I'm just going to bring this up. And here we have it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Amazing. I can't wait to give this a bite. Which is exactly what I am going to do. Going right in. Mmm. It is so, so good. Really lemony, which is exactly how it should be. It is lemon meringue pie. The meringue is super fluffy. Oh, it's just, I just want to be alone with the pie. It's so, so good. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me. To get this recipe and other recipes, check out my website, www.lauraninkitchen.com. And I'll see you next time. Bye.